So shipping mistakes honestly do happen, and this is how we fixed it and avoided negative feedback. Hey, it's Don. Today we're talking about shipping mistakes, something that we have done ourselves on many occasions throughout the years. We're going to show you a mistake that we did as well as talk about a few other ones that folks routinely ask me about. So we had made a mistake in uh, order from a person who bought four different cards. They bought four individual cards from the same location number and someone actually didn't realize or didn't check that we had two of the exact same cards in that same location. Sometimes we run across bunches of cards. So this card has some stuff uh, on the front, some issues, and it had some back issues. He just sent the front just so um, he could uh, show the difference. He was nice enough even to come in here and point out that there's two of them. It looks like the wrong card was sent. You can read his comment right here. Very polite, very nice response considering that the wrong card was there. It was obviously the exact card he wanted, but just the wrong copy of it. Now, that's one of those types of errors that may happen to other folks out there. I've heard other people tell me similar stories as well. So if someone here just saw the card, assumed that was it, didn't look to see if there was a second version of this one. Usually there isn't, so that's a, a fairly... I shouldn't say common one for us because usually we don't put the same card, two of the same cards in the same bin number just to avoid this issue. But at some point, this one was. Now, this one's been up for a while. I can tell by my image and the whole work. So this has been up for a couple of years at least. So that's probably why this one was forgotten or it hasn't been uh, followed the same policies we do these days. Now, I did respond very quickly as soon as we saw it. So sorry for the mix-up. It was a total accident. We will get the correct card out in the mail by the end of the day. Please keep the other card for the trouble. So sorry again. I think the person pulling out the card didn't realize we had two of them. Usually try to give an explanation. Usually if there's an issue, most people want to know what the heck happened. So I always just offer one to uh, right off the bat. It was an honest mistake on our behalf. Okay, now I sent this one out really quick just to get it out. And before uh, a few minutes had transpired, I've already found the correct card, and I already went ahead and mailed it. So from the time I sent this one, I pulled out the correct card, printed a new invoice or a new uh, label, and already packed it, and it's going out in the mail. Now, I immediately then came right back. Again, it's only been a few minutes since the first one came out. I wanted to express the urgency we took to do this. We made a mistake. We clearly made a mistake. Now, in this case, I wasn't going to go ahead and give them you know, the whole thing for free, even though we made it, because they got all the other cards, and this one would just be uh, a couple days delay. I gave him the other card, pay no trouble. He doesn't have to do a single solitary thing, he, she, wh whatever the case may be. So sorry again about the issue. The replacement is in the mail and has tracking already added to your purchase. If you check the current tracking, it will show both the original and the replacement tracking. You may have to click an arrow to see it, I think. Please accept our sincerest apologies. We collect as well and completely understand any frustration over the issue. Thanks again. Very basic, plain, simple response. Didn't have to word anything else into it. Just so they know that you immediately handle it. So within the time of less than an hour of him stating, hey, this is what happened, the other card's already in the mail. I've sent several emails to them already. He can check and see the tracking the minute he got this email because, again, it's already been posted. So I try to take care of everything immediately. We constantly check anything these days. If it's related to eBay items or anything else like that, those are hit immediately. We're done. We fix them. Now his response back to me, thanks, I appreciate it. I certainly understand how mistakes can happen, and you've done a fantastic job fixing it. So at this point, I am pretty darn safe that he's going to be happy. He got an extra card out of it, basically. I sent it first class with tracking as well. Now, this person said, hey, you send something to me, a return stamped addressed envelope. I will go ahead and send the other card back to you. Well, I'm not going to make him do anything extra whatsoever. If that card was $50 and I sw swapped up two $50 cards, I would have probably let him keep it too. 
just because it's not worth hassling somebody when you made the mistake. This is something we did here. Nothing to do with the, the buyer at all. So I don't want to inconvenience him in any way, shape, or form. That's the best, simplest way. Again, this person bought multiple items. They've bought from us before, it looks like, as well. I went and checked. So uh, I have done everything I could to at least alleviate the problem. I'm not asking, hey, feedback or anything else like that. Don't ever ask for anything else other than fixing the issue to start with. Fix the issue. Make sure that they're happy. Then off you go from there. Now, I just sent one follow-up. Thanks so much for understanding. Hope you enjoy the cards and just left it at that. Very simple, very plain. Now, had this person been angry and left a nasty comment, that would have been a little different story. I would have probably handled it slightly different. I may have refunded him for just the card, sent him the new one as well, and maybe offered free shipping on another purchase or something along that line. You, you take it as it comes in. So if they're not aggressive, they're not pushy or anything else like that, this person's a collector. My guess is they're trying to finish the set because they bought four individual cards from the set. They knew the difference. They looked at both cards, both identical cards. Again, I had two of the zebra cards. So they wanted to make sure they had the best cards. So obviously, they're a collector. You know, if somebody just wanted a card, they might not look at the second one to determine. They say, hey, here it is. Off I go. He wanted the best or she wanted the best possible cards that they could get. So that's the point. And they were nice enough, as I showed you, to send a picture, point out the difference. Easy mistake to fix here as well. Now let's talk about another mistake also. And as you can see with that one there, it's just being polite and answering the person immediately, being honest and sincere about what you say. Now, another major issue that I hear happens a lot, I get a ton of questions on it, is someone may have put the wrong label on the wrong packages. So basically, two people got the wrong items. Now, I know in the past I've heard people say, well, I just asked that person to send them off to the other person. I wouldn't do that. I would send them all back to you so you have verifiable tracking on them. How would I handle something like that? I mixed up two people's names. Now, that has happened to us before where the first name was identical, the last name was extremely close, uh, and we weren't paying attention here from that point on. In those cases, I asked both of the people to open up a return. Now, we do 30-day free returns. It gives us a little better boost and a little better protection than not doing it. If they open up a return, they can't leave negative feedback. So I always tell them to open up a return. If I'm going to refund them their money completely and not have them do a single thing like return it, I still have them open up a return. I tell them for tracking purposes or for whatever the case may be. It has to go through eBay. We don't give any refunds out these days at all without somebody opening up a return or something along that line. Again, because it always limits their ability to leave negative feedback. If you fix the issue that was the problem, you gave them what they wanted, there shouldn't be a reason for them to leave nasty feedback in the first place. But again, that is their prerogative. So with this case as well, we actually had a replacement for one of the folks. So I was able to have them open up a return so I could give them the whole entire purchase for free and still send them out another item, the replacement item. So that person's happy. They got what they wanted. Now the other person as well, they opened up a return. Now I refunded them after I printed another shipping label so I'm able to ship the other item back to the other buyer. So in this case, one buyer got a replacement immediately and the second person, again, we mixed up the two orders, the second person got their item for free and then had to wait a few extra days to get a replacement, to get their item sent back. They had to wait a few extra days for the item to come back from the other buyer so that then I could send it back out to them. Now that solved the problem. No feedback issues with it handled that way. So at the end of the day, I'm free and clear of bad feedback. Both buyers got their items completed and delivered to them. And as well, they were free. So they didn't have to pay. It was no inconvenience other than a simple email to tell me that there was an issue. That's the best way that I can tell you to solve the problems. If you mix up two items and let's say they cost 50 or 60 bucks, I'd still handle it the same way because I made the mistake, or at least someone here made the mistake. It's on us. It's on me. Now, I'm usually not going to 
mess around and try and penny pinch the person buying from me and try to offer them a few bucks off or something. Unless it's a couple hundred bucks, it's a totally different story. But if it's 20, 30, 40 bucks or something, again, I'm just going to give it to them for free because they got the wrong item. It was a mix up that I did. They might have had to have it by a certain time frame. They're going to be happy is the end of the story here. I'll do whatever it takes to make the buyer happy. And that's what you should be thinking of as well. You want your feedback to be the best it can. Those folks, if you handle it properly, even though you messed up the order, will still come back because they know that if you do mess up something, you're going to make it right at all costs. As long as you handle these sorts of situations correctly, properly, and politely, you're going to be okay 99% of the time. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. system. Our lifetime friends, as all of you know, they've never failed us through the years. Through driving rain, sleet or snow, but now they've got a problem. And what are they to do? The answer, my friend, is very simple. It's up to you to see them through. Do, 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 Cry was freedom and how to defend it Mailing a letter wasn't much trouble There weren't too many places to send it But now it's a different story They've got more mail than ever before It's stuffed in bags, stacked on shelves There's hardly room for anything more There's been a mail explosion They've got a terrible load You've got to help 